let's position it like it's gonna about to attack. <laughs> I tried to do an elephant step. Hey ya, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So today it's gonna be fun because we are officially unboxing the Horizon Forbidden West Regala Edition. And I'm so excited because this is actually the biggest unboxing I've ever had to do. Um, so I'm gonna go and do my best to go through each item inside the box thoroughly with you guys. We also have a Horizon Forbidden West Collector's Edition right over here, but I'm not gonna be unboxing it. Instead, I'm gonna be giving it away to you guys. So make sure you stick around until the very end of the video to find out how you guys can win this. Also, I started my playthrough already of Horizon Forbidden West. Part one is already right here. Just go on ahead and click that link. You know, just being able to play this game the same time as you guys is just, it makes it that much more memorable. So, yeah, let's get this party started. Oh, it's like a door. I should just push this out. There we go. Oh, wow. That looks so pretty. I love the color scheme. Okay, so seems like we have, where's Aloy? Oh, this is Aloy. Ah, oh, here's Aloy. Look how badass she looks. And then we have the machines all around. So this is what it looks like on each side. At the back, and this is the back. Just more machines. And then the other side. Okay, how do we open this up? Oh my god, it looks like a transformer! Look at that! Okay, wait, let me just take out... Okay, there's some plastic. Oh, you, you pull this out. Oh, oh and we have... I like that smell. It smells like, it doesn't smell like VHS. It smells like something else, but it has that brand new smell to it. All right, you know what guys? I can actually see a little bit of what the inside looks like and it seems so, like I don't want to get my greasy fingers on it. So I'm going to get some white gloves just to preserve it, you know, like in all its glory. Okay, I've got the gloves on. I actually feel like I'm a mime. You know what, thinking about it, I feel like this is going to be the highlight of the whole entire unboxing. So I'm going to save this for last and set this aside. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. And it has a matte finish to it. Let's set this aside. Okay. I like this case a lot. This is such a pr so this is the box. This was the design of the box that it came with. That's pretty. I think if you open that. Ah, the digital content is here. There's no disc inside. Maybe it would be inside. And what's this one? Oh, this is the art book. The art book of her of Horizon Forbidden West. Oh, it's a hardbound uh, book. Nice. It's kind of difficult to turn the pages with gloves on, but I don't want to take off my gloves. Oh, this is San Francisco. Look at that. Oh, 
They're all, look at this machine. Wait, isn't this a dinosaur? What kind of dinosaur is this again? I should ask my baby brother. He loves dinosaurs. Oh, this is from Horizon Zero Dawn. This, this is actually one of my favorite photos of Aloy. I love it. This is her coming of age, from her coming of age part. And even the weapons, you know, the artists or the team of Horizon Forbidden West, they're so creative. And look at how, you know, they must have done a lot of research in designing the weapons as well. Or maybe if it was just out of pure creativity, because I, I mean, I could never. Tribes also wrong. Tribes, Utar. Oh, so this is okay. So we have per page, we have the different tribes. We have the Osiram, Utaru, Quen. Ooh, Quen, the, the Quen tribe looks a little bit Asian. Like it looks like an Asian looking tribe or heavily influenced by Asian culture. <laughs> I love this art book. It's so beautiful, very, very impressive, and definitely, I love that they included this. <laughs> oh, right, let's start off with this one. This. I think this is the spear in the form of a feather, and then of course we have Aloy. There we go. Put this back, put this back, put this back. Onto this. I think. I think this is the map. so that I could lay it down. Okay, let me just take this out so I can make some more room. So this is the map in its entirety. Um, since I just started playing Forbidden West, I don't really know which part of the map is which in the game. I don't know if I've visited them as Aloy already, but it seems like this is Utah, and this is California, San Francisco. And this is Nevada. I don't know. I'm naming it by the states because I know that Horizon Zero Dawn is inspired by the United States. Of course, it's set in the United States. Um, but I didn't even grow up here. I'm just an immigrant. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but this is cool. Look at that. I wonder what these symbols mean though. Th these must be the tribes symbols. Now that we're done with the map, let's just put this away. This is just making me excited to keep playing the game because I want to discover the map already. And meet the tribes, like that should be interesting. I feel like <laughs> I'm working in a jewelry store. Okay, next we have the strike pieces. Now I know they're a little bit small, but don't worry because I'm going to be making a montage so that you guys can see them up close. So this is the claw strider strike piece. And then we have the sun wing strike piece. Oh. And then we have a focus replica and the focus stand. So this is the focus replica. Let's see this. Can I turn, turn it on? Ooh. Where, where did they put it? So here.
All right, I've put it on. What do you guys think? It lights up when you press the button. But it doesn't, like you have to keep pressing it for the light to be on. Like it's not a one-time press button where if you press it, it lights up. But yeah, still cool nonetheless. Okay, now it's time for the main event. Let me go get a statue. Let's finish up opening this. Okay, you have to build it up yourself. Okay, let me just get everything in check. It's really in there. Okay. Got it. Huh. All right. So it seems like we have to build this up ourselves, but it's not that complicated because there's just four pieces. So the manual's here. I'm going to follow it to a T. Uh, we do have to pull something from here. And I. this is pretty amazing because I think this is going to light up and move. Will not move. This looks like the type of thing that you have that splits between the battery. So it makes me think that this is gonna light up and that's pretty cool. And the design, it the Regala edition is so cool. Like I love the statue, but it does feel pointy around some of the area. So I'd be careful with handling this and definitely keep it away from any babies or toddlers in the house. So I guess we should just get started putting this together. All right, let's start with pulling this, uh, pulling the tag out. Okay, that. Next up, we can pu put it here in this area. Ah, yeah, you'd feel a click when you put it in. So that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. That one, did, I kind of didn't feel it click in, but it seems like it's in there. All right, other side. Last step is this one. There we go. All right. I think everything's secure. Ah, oh, next step is we're going to be putting in the trunk. There we go. Nice, we got it. Okay. By the way, the key to installing this part, the last one, the trunk, is to make sure that the ball is straight and going straight into the hole instead of it like slanted down and everything, trying to make it work. Just make sure it's straight so that you could just plop it in. Okay, next up, we're gonna try to look for the switch. The switch should be right here. Three, two, one. Wait, there's no, is there a beta? Oh yeah, the light. Oh. That's pretty badass. Let's turn down the light a little. Look at that. Okay. So if it's calm, blue. If it's cautious, yellow. And if it's on, Attack mode, right? <laughs> like in the game, I love it. Okay, we'll stay with blue. Okay, easy does it, easy does it. Out of sight, out of mind. I'm still in the clear. Oh no, it's getting cautious. I'm gonna hide. Ah! And now it's hunting me. And now it's hunting me. This is so cute and fun, I love it. Okay, let's position it like it's gonna about to attack. 
<laughs> I tried to do an elephant step. This is a really cool statue, you guys. By the way, I really love the little details on it. Look at this little detail of the blight. I mean, you can tell that it's getting corrupted and it's just this little details that makes it <laughs> that much more special. I love it. So there you guys have it. We are done unboxing the Regala edition and I must say my favorite <laughs> from the unboxing has got to be this statue. I really love it. It's so beautiful. Like I, I want to put it on display in my living room. Ugh, it's motivating me to like clear up some space. I'd rather have statues displayed rather than family photos. What are you even kidding? I'm kidding. But okay, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I did say that I will be giving away this collector's edition of Horizon Forbidden West. All you guys have to do is to follow the instructions in the pinned comment down below. And if you guys have been supporting my playthrough since the very beginning of Horizon Zero Dawn, then you guys have a better chance of winning. But I will also be giving away a standard edition where everyone will have an equal chance of winning. So yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for supporting me. Do give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.